Hey, it's Edge here. Today we are taking a look at technical analysis for Jasmine Coin. Uh, we'll go over some key levels of support and resistance and cover wave analysis with Elliott Wave Theory. Let's get going. So, before last time we were quite bullish um, due to this good looking structure here, or good looking ish <laughs> structure. It was supported by volume, but as we see, we came down and we even put a good amount of volume up here uh, on these candles up here so up to these points um, it was actually looking quite a good chart but again after that point we've been just coming down and invalidated the bullish counts on Elliott waves um, here on this last crash around 11th of May so we would need to look into this bit more to get some ideas what is going on actually but before Elliott wave stuff let's get into some daily or basically the levels of interest here. So support and resistance areas, basically currently we are at the last support we have for Jasmine. If it goes below here, below the all time lows, we just are in the unknown territory. Um, medium time frame, point of control. We can see that most of the volume um, of this whole chart has been interacted here where we've had, again, mostly vo most volume here um, since the March, um, or the March, after March, we have basically created most of the volume of, of this whole chart. Now, currently we have this parallel channel that we can be actively looking at uh, from the highs here of November, 2021 to the highs of March, 2022, and bring that down to March lows here. We can see that there's been quite good interactions um, with these, this middle point here. Uh, a lot of support and resistance being back tested here, even here before going through up here, um, upwards, and now currently back at that 50% or median line of this channel. What else do we have here? We don't want to draw anymore. Okay. Um, well, just by looking at the volume here, we can see that most of the volume we had definitely was done here. Uh, basically, non-existent up on these regions from October 2021 to these February levels. Um, that is m making me a bit doubtful that these are very strong support levels, but they are at least some, sorry, resistance levels. Um, these are somewhat still relevant though, so let's get a look at what we can expect if the price ever comes back up here. The 7 cent area has a daily with a point of control of this smaller range here where we have don't have that much volume overall so that is the reason why I'm a bit hesitant. Um, this golden pocket definitely has some bump in this volume area um, around eight and a half cents um, but nothing else lines up there too much. Below we have the support resistance areas currently VWAP, anchored VWAP is coming down here at around 3 cents. Uh, we got also the higher time frame range with um, value area high here with that same area definitely going to be a good amount of resistance. Um, on this smaller, smaller um, volume profile, let's check that out. Let's even draw a Fibonacci retracement from the all-time high, or these highs of March 2022. We can see the golden pocket lines up very well with the weekly right here. That is just above the point of control. There is, however, quite a good amount of volume here um, on the chart, so no issues. Um, what else do we have here is 0.5 or 50% retracement with a daily definitely an area of interest 32 with the support and resistance level definitely going to be a major major resistance area if we get get up here uh, nothing else to me jumps out so let's save those as targets nicely typoed but doesn't really matter and let's get into the Elliott Wave stuff. So this was the count we were expecting last time. Uh, based on just the volume, we were gathering up some speed here 
with the volume expecting higher levels. Uh, we didn't, we already failed at the wave four here. Uh, wave four just rolled over and got back to the area of wave one uh, in validating this count. Um, so we can just delete this for now. Now we have a couple of different ideas here. Um, I think I shared this one before where we had an A coming down for B and then C. Uh, the B, wall, B was here, but obviously it can't be here for now because the C wave is an impulse wave structure, uh, but we are expecting a fire wave. So it can't just start lower here. So we have to be looking for the wave B somewhere else. Now, if we are labeling this as the W and X, we would be looking for three waves for the Y wave. I'm saying that this is just the first leg of this uh, Y wave structure. So first A, B and C uh, coming down further, just like this. Um, other option is this one where we have an A, B, C uh, into the B of intermediate. And this whole structure is actually started somewhere that we don't see it. Um, this would be the A wave, B and C. This would create a zigzag. Um, at this point, we would be looking for fire waves, fire wave structure in this area of the chart. So currently, let's go to two hours. We can try to see some kind of wave structure here. I managed to get a pretty ugly looking um, contracting diagonal into the wave one here, wave two, and this massive <laughs> wave three with an extended third in the middle here, um, giving us some kind of a possibility at least for a wave three bottom here, and then four, and now looking for the fifth. Um, we already do have a divergence on higher time frame here uh, between these lows. Uh, this came to around 20 RSI and this current low is around 25-ish um, on daily time frame. Um, but we'll look into this if this is already done or not. So let's jump into that. So again, let's go back to a bit closer time frame. And here we had the wave four. Um, wave one here uh, into wave two. A diagonal into wave one, two, one, two, really bearish count here. Um, nesting pattern with three different uh, degrees, giving us a lot of confidence that this is going to come crashing down. But however, uh, at least on logarithmic scale, of course, it is a bit more wonky in um, arithmetic. Um, it didn't go as badly as it could have, if this actually is, um, correctly labeled here. Um, we got again, third, fourth, fifth into the third here, uh, fourth and fifth. We got a small divergence here between the third and four, uh, fifth, but nothing major, um, but again is possible here. Some kind of ABC structure into fourth, and then we can start looking for the last wave structure. Again, this is definitely not a good looking chart. Um, Jasmine hasn't been able to create a very good looking LSV accounts for a while. Um, and I, at least I can't interpret them in a very good way. Um, this whole structure is a bit weird looking overall, just saying that this is one, two, three, four, and then possible five here. Um, it is legal. The wave one is not coming to wave four area, so there's really nothing wrong with it other than the basic look. From the fourth to the fifth, we have one, two, one, two, um, three, four, five, and this is in lower degree. So basically one, two, one, two here. So this brings us to the third here. I think I, I measured this was right. Yeah, the third is larger than wave one, so there's no issues. Uh, wave four is coming really close to the wave one, uh, but again, no, no worries there. Uh, invalidation for the wave four after we get 
managed to get this fifth wave down here um, for the third um, is all the way up here so we would have to uh, pump from here 130 percent before we get this invalidation of this count which is a bit far out spot oh well that is the case currently um this is looking as the wave three is so large i'm not expecting us to get to the 32 here but it is still possible we could be looking this structure this current structure as um as an a b c here and then some kind of a b and c and now we would be looking for five waves and we could be getting to this target of 32 here um wouldn't be too much an issue to be honest as the wave three here um is quite high on rsi um i'm not actually sure which one i prefer is it this low here or this low oh well um it is close enough here one of these lows is the fifth for the third um we're just looking for the divergence with the fifth here um if we can get a good looking fireway structure here uh, it would make more sense it is already possible that we have started the wave wave structures coming down but this to me does not look like a valid fireway structure it looks if it could be a diagonal um, this wave four actually let's see let's measure it just in case so yeah so the fifth is already larger than wave three so that means that wave four would need to be larger than wave two which is not so this is some kind of corrective structure here in any case so i would be expecting small pump up mm, what else i don't think there's anything else so basically what we're looking for is this structure to continue or complete here and whether this next structure takes five waves up or three waves up um, we'll know what kind of um, structure we're looking at either on higher time frame uh, we were looking for the two different possibilities uh, this completely bottoming out here or or the fact that we were looking for the wxy meaning that we were look, looking for the b wave with a third three wave structure and then five waves down still here but yeah i think that's all i want to share on just me let me know if you have another count for this structure or if you would like me to analyze another coin thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye bye